Well, hello everyone, and thanks for joining me today at One Ant's Crafting Corner. I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time. And instead of having the names of people that I appreciate uh, scrolling by uh, at the beginning of my video, I'm gonna just comment on the lovely comments that they made, and I'm just gonna kind of flip some pictures as I, I do that. So, Mare over at Lilac Pages, who, by the way, she is the lady who sent me the cover to the Ireland Journal. She commented and said, beautiful landscape and pictures. Love the signature. No doubt this journal will be a spectacular keepsake. Then Sherry Barncastle, who happens to be my sister, she commented, Hey sister, what a great idea. Make the signatures first, then the album cover. I'm going to do that with the two I will be working on. Good job. And then the last really lovely comment was from Maggie White and she wrote, this will be a beautiful journal one at your pictures are, uh, of Ireland are lovely and reminds me of my trip. I love how the photos are the focal point on the pages. Can't wait to see it finished. So you can see I'm just kind of flipping through. I was organizing where things were going to go. And we will continue on with the video on the front cover and I will continue on doing these signatures. Well, hello everyone and thanks for joining me today at One Ant's Crafting Corner. In my last video, I worked on the cover of my Ireland journal and I mentioned that it was gonna be three layers. So I found some fabric that I think will go well over this layer. This was in my stash. And if you look real close, it's a leaf pattern. And it kind of brings out the red here. But I thought I would cover this. I'll just show you real quick. Okay, so that's going to be one layer and it's going to be hinged. And then this layer is going to be there. And again, I'll put some embellishments and what have you there. But I'm going to go ahead and adhere this fabric to this cover. The other thing I found in my stash, isn't that gorgeous? I had ordered, ordered this from an Etsy store. I believe it had come from India, but that is the fabric I'm gonna use to hinge the front cover. Now, I have learned that when you want to apply fabric to a cover, it's best not to use Fabri-Tac. And I'm going to tell you why. It soaks through the cover and you can see it on the other side. So what I like to do is just add double-sided tape first. So this is the front of, oh, I think it was probably a notebook that I had bought at a Goodwill store. I kept this hinge here, that part of the spine, and I'm only gonna use the front cover. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down some double-sided tape on it, and then adhere my fabric to it, and then pull it around and cover it. Now I think I'm gonna go ahead and use four 
pieces. This is one inch double sided tape. And you know what? I'm going to put a half inch one there so the fabric sticks there too. I think that's a half inch. I still haven't started packing. Well, actually, this video is going to air a week later than the last one. So I will probably have done a little bit of packing. I went to Walmart and bought some storage containers because I was watching uh, the Tim Holtz. Um, he had done a craft room tour and organization and, you know, he lives in Prescott, Arizona, or at least he's got one home there. But the containers he used for his craft room were all from Walmart. Here I thought this guy would probably have, you know, really high-end, custom-built containers for a craft room. No, he got them at Walmart. So I'm just gonna lay that there. Bring it around. I should have maybe put a little bit of glue there and held that down, but I didn't. So then now I'm going to just angle these so that I can glue them down. I have a, a right angle machine or tool to do this, but this time I thought, I'm just gonna wing it. I'm just gonna wing it here. Now, I should have done that longer. Yes, I should have. I can always run a strip down there because I am going to put paper here. Let me bring you guys in a little bit more so you can see. Maybe I should put... No, I thought maybe I should put double-sided tape, but I'm not going to because if I don't get it really tight... I won't be able to pull it up. So I'm just going to use my fabric tack here. I probably ought to pull out a bigger bottle. I'm going to just pull this forward as far as it will go. Maybe it'll be okay. What helps is this little silicone makeup applicator. So I thought I would just do a little quick voiceover here. I did adhere all four corners down on this little front cover of this notebook. So that beautiful fabric is glued down there and I've got my nice little hinge here, okay, and it will be able to fold back like that and now I need to find some paper that will coordinate with it and go on the inside and I found this paper here. 
This is stamping up paper. It's called Beauty of the Earth Designer Series paper. I don't believe it is any longer available, but many of you know I'm a stamping up demonstrator and when they come out with new paper, I order every single pack that is available because I know at some point in time, I will use it. I don't know how long that I've had that, but it, it works perfectly. So I've cut it to the dimensions of the inside of the cover, and you just saw me round off the edge there, and that's gonna glue right in there. And I just need to make sure that I cover this corner up there. And because it is some fabric, I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. But before I do that, let me see if I want to put a pocket here. So I did do a pocket. I found a coordinating piece of cardstock, and I believe it's uh, four inches in length and I measured it the same width. I used my little corner rounder punch. This, this is a We Are Memory Keepers, and I really like it because it's got three different sizes. It's, it's really a good corner, round, uh, corner rounder. And then I used just my Stamping Up uh, hole punch uh, just to do my little notch there. So I have a little pocket that I'll be able to put on there. So I did end up going ahead and gluing that down. And so I've come up with a couple of things. That's gonna go there. And what I've decided to do is hinge this one here. So it will be able to close shut with this little butterfly hinge. And then this will be hinged here. So this will open, I will cover this, okay? Then this will come open, that's covered, that will be revealed. But let me show you something. On the book, <clears throat> see right here, the corners, they are just tattered up. And along here, it's, it is in really bad shape. And so I'm trying to come up with a solution to fix that and I may have come up with something. <clears throat> I've told you I buy things from uh, Patty Lang at Sacred Mementos. This is, look at it, it's huge. This is a round tablecloth and it's got this trim on it and I was thinking that just the trim without these little doodads on here, I'm gonna cut a piece off and try to glue it here to cover that exposed area. I'm gonna work on that a little bit and then I will come back with you guys. So as you can see, I did cut off the trim on the old tablecloth and some of these little pom-poms that are attached fell off when I washed it. So I've got to take the rest of them off and it's quite easy, but a little bit time consuming. I will decide whether or not I'm gonna use it on the journal. Sometimes you have to do this kind of stuff where you 
you prepare it, you get everything ready, and then it doesn't work out. But at least you prepared it maybe for the next project. So we'll see if it's going to work. So after I cut the strips of the trim from that tablecloth, I laid it down on my cutting mat and I measured from the edge here out three fourths of an inch. And so then it gives you a little bit more of a an even edge for the inside, even though a lot of it is gonna be covered. And as I was also taking off all those pom-poms, I saved them because they're cute little pom-poms. And you know, this is my absolute favorite color, this moss green. And so I'm gonna put them in a little baggie and I will save them for some project, including maybe even my Ireland journal. So I'm gonna set those off to the side. Now I've gone ahead and glued the back of the journal trim to the back page. I like the way it looks. This is gonna be the spine, so there'll be some kind of a trim there. And then I've gone ahead and glued the top and bottom, but I'm gonna just show you real quick what I do. Let me turn off this glare. I just run a really big line, let me kind of hold that up against myself, of Fabri-Tac glue. Now again, this is was all exposed, so I'm glad I am going to cover it up to help salvage it and keep it from tearing up e anymore. So I just lay down a pretty good size of glue there. And then I take my piece of my trim and the trim part is going to be on the edge of it and so I just lay it right on top of the edge of the book cover if I need to I can pull it forward and then I just kind of hold it there for a sec while that adheres. Looks like it's kind of getting cockeyed here. And then sometimes I just lay it down so I can pull it forward and see to make sure it's on the edge. Looks like this side needs to come this way a little bit. If it's not completely, totally perfect, that's okay too. See, I think that does need to come forward. But I'm just going to hold that there. Kind of look at it. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. And then I lay down some glue some Fabri-Tac on the inside here and glue that down. So I got the trim glued down and it does protect the edges and the corners that were pretty frayed. It does give me a nice little border here, which again, I will be covering there. So that is the front and then this is the back so it will go excuse me like this okay so it will open up like that I'll have all my signatures there and then this will be the back so the front again like I said is gonna be like that and then this will be hinged 
here and we'll open up and I will hinge it with this butterfly Oh, metal piece and this was nice that I had this trim here because it brought it up a little bit so then that will just slip right into there and then this will be hinged here and again there'll be something something underneath here some kind of decor I'm not quite sure what and then paper over that so that's the beginning of the journal the front and back cover i'm gonna hold off on working on it anymore until i get the other signatures done because then i will be able to work on the spine so as always thank you for joining me i really appreciate you coming along for this journey with me to Ireland. And I'll see you guys next Monday. Thanks and bye-bye.